Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us today for Staying Connected. I'm Pastor Roy White. Uh, if you have done any work around your house recently, you have learned about the increased cost of building material. I read that uh, since April of 2020, the cost of lumber has increased, uh, in some cases, 180%. That translates into an average single family dwelling increasing in cost just due to the cost, increased cost of lumber by about $24,000. That's really incredible. Uh, we are in a little series in the book of Ephesians, and there Paul is talking about our glorious inheritance in the saints. A contractor that I talked to one time said that buying building material now is like buying gold, it seems. Well, uh, have you ever thought about the fact that God uses common, everyday um, uh, things that we value on earth, such as gold, gems, precious stones? God uses those types of items for building material. Think about it. Uh, the uh, all too common image of heaven is streets of gold. So the things that we put on our fingers and uh, set around uh, other gems to uh, adorn uh, us by with jewelry, God uses as paving material. God also uses the things that we think of as being valuable as foundation material. Uh, we read that the foundations of the city of God is made of precious gems. Uh, we read about gates made of pearls. So the things that we use as building material, God uses, uh, the, the things that we count as valuable, God uses as building material. So in Paul's prayer for the Ephesians in chapter 1, he prays that the eyes of their hearts may be enlightened, that they may know the, uh, the hope of the, his calling, but also the glorious inheritance in the saints. When we think of an inheritance, we think of things of value. We think of uh, things like gold and jewelry and money, uh, property and those types of things. So if God uses those things that we count as valuable on earth, as building material, then what is the inheritance that he speaks of? Well, I think it's simply one thing. Our inheritance is Jesus Christ because everything that comes to us from God is on the merits and the basis of Jesus Christ. So our glorious inheritance is primarily our unity with Christ we being adopted as sons and daughters, that his presence and spirit abides within us. So our union or our unity with Jesus Christ is our inheritance. That means that through, through the work of the Holy Spirit, God comes to take up residence within us. And when that occurs, then we experience eternal life. So the gift of eternal life and the inheritance is ours now, and that is the person of Jesus Christ. And it also means that we will inherit the kingdom that is to come, that kingdom that is um, uh, referenced to as having streets of gold, uh, gates made of pure pearls, and the foundations of the walls being uh, uh, precious stones and gems. That is the city that we are to inherit, that we are to be a part of. But currently, our inheritance is ours in part now, and that's the person of Jesus Christ. That is our glorious inheritance in the saints. Hope that's in of encouragement to you today. I want to remind you of a couple of announcements. One is that we will be having um, a, a Easter egg hunt this coming uh, Easter Sunday, not this Sunday, but Easter Sunday during our Sunday school hour. 
Uh, Tina has prepared for a plan where uh, parents can safely distance from each other. We're still practicing social distance as much as we can. And all, all the while to be able to have our children together for Easter egg hunt. Uh, Sunday school begins at 930, so I encourage you to be there for that. Uh, they will be divided up into a couple of groups, uh, age-related groups. So please be with us on uh, Easter Sunday morning for uh, our Easter egg hunt. We also have the Living Cross on Sunday morning. Out front, there'll be flowers available for you to place upon the cross. If you want to have family pictures made there, you can do that as well. Remember that this coming week, beginning Monday at noon, we'll have our Holy Week services at Gilman Waterfront Park Amphitheater. So I hope you'll join us for uh, that time of worship in preparation for uh, Easter sunrise service at 7, p 7 a.m. at the Waterfront Park. And of course, our services are at 8.30 and 10.30 on Sunday morning. 8.30 is mass required, 10.30 is mass encouraged, and we have Sunday school at 9.30. Well, I hope you have a great weekend. Let's pray together. Our Father, we give you thanks for every blessing that you have lavished upon us in Christ Jesus. And we thank you for the glorious inheritance in the saints. And that glorious inheritance is indeed your son, Christ Jesus. And he comes to us in the presence of the Holy Spirit who abides within us. So, Father, we give you thanks for the glorious inheritance in the name of Christ. Amen. Hope you have a great weekend. God bless you. See you Sunday, 8.30 and 10.30. If you can't join us or not yet comfortable to be present with us, join us for our live streaming on Facebook and YouTube at 10.30. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.